So the first thing we do is we teach them how to line up, okay? And this is sloppy. This is what we did this spring. This is the first rep. And so there, there's good and bad on here, but, but we, we want to get into a balanced stance. And, I, and I, I'm not going to do all that today. I would be trying to show you guys all this stuff. Just had surgery a, a week ago on my knee, so that's why I'm kind of hobbling around right now. Uh, but I'm going to be ready to go for the season. That's the most important thing, all right? So, so we're going to get in a balanced stance, ankle, uh, ankles inside shoes, knees inside ankles, chest down, nose over toes, okay? You should see good power angles evident in everybody's stance, okay, as they get down. These guys aren't there yet. This is the first day, again, that, that we start to do things. So from that point, we're going to drop back after we teach the stance, all right, and how to, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to line up. You know, if we're on the front line, this, and this is just the front line, guys. Let me make sure I, everybody understands that. Uh, we teach what I call triangle relationship, okay? Triangle relationship in leverage drill. So if I'm going to block you and the return's going that way, all right, I'm going to get in what I call triangle relationship on that defender that I'm blocking and the next guy over, okay? I want my return side foot up and my away from my return side foot back. So I want to be in this fashion. I don't want to be turned, all right? That's what you get. That's what you see that on there a bunch. I want them to hide it a little bit more, but I want, I want their feet to be staggered, okay? That's the demeanor I want. Here's for the stagger. It's no different than teaching, you know, up front, you know, if you're playing offensive line, you got pass protection, you're teaching what? A power step and a kick step. Well, I'm teaching the same thing. If you come this way, I'm going to get really aggressive and, and really try to maul you, all right? If, if you go this way, I'm going to allow you to penetrate up the field but I'm gonna make you run a hump. You know, I wanna to try to widen you a gap so I can create running lanes for the returners. Does that make sense? So it makes, it makes only natural sense that I have my back foot back and this is the foot that I'm gonna to try to shuffle with and maintain the base as long as I can and try to force you to run a hump. That's my back foot. And the up foot is there in case you try to come forward, come inside, I wanna be ready to attack. Again, I'm trying to stay in this demeanor as long as I can. Now, just like in pass protection, when you're blocking, you're blocking with your what? Your feet. Your feet. You're not blocking with your hands. You're going to use your hands, but you've got to teach them to move their feet. That's the first thing you have to move. Because if your feet aren't moving, your hands aren't going to do, do you any good, okay? You can go out there and lunge all you want, and the guy's just going to go right around you. That's what they're taught to do. So we're getting in that relationship, and so now we're shuffling, trying to keep our eyes on the return side number. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the basis, okay? I'm looking for guys that understand what I just taught them, you know, and, and, and are able to go out there and try to do it. There's guys on here that are trying to do something right now. I'm looking at you. You can't listen. You don't understand what I'm talking about. And there's a walk on on here that's sitting up there like, I got it, coach. I hear, I hear exactly what you're saying. All right. So they're going to line up and here we go. OK, triangle relationship. First thing. So we teach that with no hands. OK, we teach them how to block without hands first. All right. You get a different view for it here. Uh, another thing that I can talk about here is just we got two types of turns. One is what I call a whirl, and one is what I call a flip turn. This is what you see executed right in the middle by this wide receiver is number 13, is a, is a whirl, okay? He's, he's whirling his entire body around. If he just did a quarter turn, that's a flip turn. Does that make sense? And, and the reason we do both are for, for, for a speed, a guy that's running up the field with speed, that's trying to run by you, we utilize a flip turn. If a guy's you know, trying to hat and hand you, check, butt you, or give you a fake and go the other way, we're going to do the flip turn, all right, because he's playing above the ball. He's not trying to just run by us and just, you know, beat us with speed. So we teach those, and, and, and I'm not trying to say that that's, you definitely have to use that. I'm just giving the kids two tools in their tool belt to use, okay? Does everybody see this drill and kind of understand what we're doing there initially? All right, so we do it with no hands, all right? Talk about, go ahead, question? All right. Talk about triangle relationship again, looking for the guy to get in triangle relationship right there. You can see that, again, I'm focusing on the guy in the middle. He's trying to move his feet, trying to keep a base. All right, again, base is really important. You don't want to see those heels click together. You don't want to see, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to see that. You see that, the crossover. Because if you get the crossover and you got a, you got a great guy on a coverage unit, what's he going to do? He's going to come up and go boom, boom, and go the other way. All right? So you want to try to teach him. You try to get at least two shuffles in, man, every time before you ever think about crossing your feet over. Two good shuffles with a good base. Before you, uh, yeah, that's something good now. I'm just telling you. That's something that I spend a lot of time on. So what I just said there, if you can take anything away from here today, you might not take all this stuff, but little stuff like that, okay? Little coaching points. Those are things that you, that you grab and you gravitate toward as you, as you, as you, as you go.